about 45,000 dock workers who run major shipping ports across the U.S. could go on strike as early as tomorrow. If that happens, it could block millions of products from reaching store shelves. I want to bring in global economic correspondent for The New York Times, Peter Goodman, to break this down for us. He's also the author of How the World Ran Out of Everything. Peter, great to have you. Thanks for having me. So, so uh, first, for people who are just like sort of tuning into this uh, and picking this story up, what are some of the demands of the union? The, the union is really focused on automation. You know, for as long as companies have been operating vessels and moving around the globe, they've looked to use machinery as a way to limit their vulnerability to strikes. They'd rather pay robots than people. Robots don't demand breaks. They don't have sick children to look after. They don't have demands for wage increases. The other thing is they want hefty wage increases. They're looking at the fact that Shipping carriers have been earning record profits for uh, much of the last several years, going back to the disruptions of the pandemic, and they want a piece of the action. And so uh, what do the companies say who are resistant to the union demands? The companies have been very quiet about the nitty gritty because they don't want to inflame the union. I mean, this is a union that is historically quite militant. Their trick is uh, to threaten commerce. Uh, and effectively sabotage international trade as a way to get higher wage demands. So there's been uh, not a lot of public discussion of the demands, but privately they say that the union is overplaying its hand uh, and that it's looking for more than the dock workers union that represents West Coast port workers got uh, in contract talks that were wrapped up last year. All right. So now, ordinary folks who are seeing all of this play out, uh, they're wondering how this could affect them. So should folks start stocking up on food and other goods? Uh, we're certainly talking about a ripple effect on product shipments, uh, even something I know it's probably frivolous for some people, but it does power the economy. People who buy things online and want them shipped, there's a reason people sign up for Prime on Amazon uh, to get that right. free shipping, to get that next day shipping. How could goods across the country be impacted? Well, it really depends how long this goes on. I mean, if, if this lasts a day or two, it won't be that big a deal. I mean, shippers have seen this coming for months, and so a lot of cargo has been diverted to other places, especially to the West Coast ports. You've got rail and trucking connections. Now, the rail didn't do so well during the pandemic disruptions, and they've cut a lot of capacity. And if this does go on a long time, then the West Coast ports could get congested. You could have a familiar constellation of events to people who remember the worst of the pandemic disruptions. You know, ships floating at anchor for weeks, waiting for their chance to load and unload at one of the big ports like Los Angeles and Long Beach. Uh, that could become a real problem at warehouses as containers uh, pile up. But again, if this lasts just a day or two, uh, that's unlikely to be a problem because a lot of cargo has already gone that route. Cargo that's on the way to East Coast ports, uh, some of that's going to places like Mexico to be carried by rail uh, and by truck uh, up in, into the U.S. There are some backup plans, but they don't look very good if this goes on for more than a few days. So, Peter, real quick before we let you go in 20 seconds, uh, sure. do you expect a positive resolution? Do you think that a deal will be reached? It's really hard to know. I mean, we know that the White House has said they're not going to intervene. Uh, we know that the union looks uh, ready to go ahead with this. But is this posturing before a deal? You know, let's wait and find out. All right, Peter, always great to have you. Thanks for breaking that down for us. Really Thank interesting. You. Thank you. Appreciate it.